I'm always curious when I hear that four out of five doctors recommend a certain type of formulation or another for kids with cough and cold symptoms. Who are these four doctors and where do they work? Because they certainly don't work with me and they're not anybody I know. There was a really good systematic review, in fact a Cochrane systematic review done by Smith in 2012. Of the 26 articles that they found, half of the articles had risk of bias because they were unblinded. Another six weren't really clear if they were blinded or not, so a minority actually had a proper blinding status. In addition to that, 11 of the studies included were supported by Big Pharma, and of these 11 studies, eight showed beneficial effect. What a surprise. Of the 15 that were not supported by Big Pharma, only three showed beneficial effect. Very interesting. So now we've got a study with two different types of bias. Risk of bias from unblinding and risk of bias from pharmaceutical support. The conclusions of the study were that overall quality of the trials is dubious and there are conflicting results between trials in each medication group. Well, if all it was is that these medications aren't beneficial, that would be one thing. But is there any evidence of harm? Well, if we look at the 2011 U.S. poison control data, you'll find that there's around 35,000 pediatric poisonings in that year alone from these types of medications and five pediatric deaths. So let me think for a second. What do you call something that doesn't have beneficial effect but can kill you? Well, I don't think it's medication. I think the word is poison. So are there any other options then if we're not going to use these medications? Well, let's talk a little bit about honey. There was a great systematic review in 2012, another Cochrane systematic review, that found two papers looking at honey for cough in kids. Sadly, both papers weren't properly placebo controlled, and so we can't really trust the results. But in the same year, there was a study by Cohen, a randomized controlled trial where they had four arms. Three groups received honey, uh, different types of honey, and one group received a type of placebo that tasted and looked like honey, but wasn't honey. What did they find? find? They found that the group that got honey had less cough, better sleep, and better parental sleep. Now, are there any risks with honey? Certainly there are. We know that 5% or thereabouts of Canadian honey contains botulism spores, and we know that kids less than one year are at risk for developing botulism. So let's just pause here for a second. Kids less than one year, they get honey, they develop botulism, they develop paralysis, their cough gets better, but they die. So let's avoid giving honey to kids less than one year. So all in, we've got a great option in honey for treating cough in kids with URTI symptoms, and we have poison. Which one are you going to choose? My advice to you is be the fifth doctor. Don't prescribe these poisons.